Have you ever met a werewolf, Doctor? Not that I know of. A wolf. The wolf was baying on. You think I don't know the difference between a wolf and a man? Bela became a wolf, and you killed him. You're insane. I tell you, I killed a wolf, a plain, ordinary wolf. What? I only saw a wolf. He bit me. Look here. Whoever is bitten by a werewolf and lives becomes a werewolf himself. What is this story about a man turning into a wolf? You mean the werewolf? Yes, sir. Well, it's an old legend. You'll find something like it in the folklore of nearly every nation. The scientific name for it is lycanthropia. It's a variety of schizophrenia. Now, you ask me if I believe a man can become a wolf. Well, if you mean can he take on the physical characteristics of an animal, no, it's fantastic. However, I do believe that most anything can happen to a man in his own mind. This talk of werewolves and pentagrams. You're not a child, laddie. You're a grown man, and you believe in the superstitions of a gypsy woman. The patient is mentally disturbed, and perhaps the shock did it. I'd rather you didn't bother him with questions just now. Now you will see that this evil thing you've conjured up is only in your mind. You know, the gypsy's been filling his mind with this werewolf nonsense. Nonsense, Sir John? Yes. You've been preying on his gullibility with your witch's tales. <laughs> A wolf? Where do you suppose a wolf came from?